Welcome Lego fans to another edition of this old Lego brick. In this video I feature a section of my underground railroad that I am working on. This features a few mocks plus some already built sets as you see here the detective office. Features my Lego newsstand, subway entrance, as well as a subway station. This section of my city is built on a large gray base plate. And the top portion is a plate built base plate. This plates built section features a section of my streets, as well as a modular building. In this case, it is the old detective office here. street scene featuring a Lego newsstand, little Coke machine, entryway into the station, little hot dog vendor, and a few others, little minor builds. I'm designing each of these sections so that the top street can come off and be replaced with another top street section and vice versa. I won't do it for this section because it has a subway entrance that leads down below unless I make another street section with a subway entrance. Right now I'm just planning one subway station but there might be others in the future. Each section is connected by the train track. Also by these, they can be connected by these um, Technic pieces right here. I have them built kind of around the edge so they can connect just like modular buildings do. But I have found so far that the train section connection is a pretty strong one. All right, let's give it a spin. Here's the back of the alley. And here, this section will not be visible when the town is put together completely, but I plan on using this as either storage or to build little vignettes, like um, things that don't necessarily enter into the city, such as, you know, castle scene or maybe an underground scene, like with miners or so. This section right here will be its own standalone kind of vignette or, or storage or vehicles or all kinds of other, you know, manner of uh, special builds that I haven't yet put in the city. Alright, let's take a closer look at the 
the city station entrance, and the newsstand. Here's the entrance. This is actually not connected to the escalator. That's way, uh, that way I can pull the top of the street section off without having to disconnect anything. But I made it look like it does connect. I'm providing some artificial illumination down there. It is not lit up. I have not wired. Over here, I have a mock soda machine. And mock newsstand. All right, let's take a look at the street below. As you see, I have removed the top section to reveal the subway station below. Escalator. Along with most mud bricks and his sister. My first Sig Fig arrival. And so they've appropriately arrived at the subway station. Some of the interesting builds here is the escalator, though it is kind of uh, simple in design, barring something from the Emporium and some other things I've seen online. It's got a little compartment down here for the motor in case it breaks down but it's built if i can show you really closely using these special angular pieces that i have here it's really hard to see with the black outline kind of outlining the shape here with my finger to give it the angle Up, and there's a little spider web in the back. There's an agent chasing down a bad guy. Minor league ball player. Little red riding hood. Off to see her grandmother. Other another uh, interesting build here is the ticket machines. I kind of looked at a lot of uh, online builds. I was inspired a lot by Jang Bricks. With his uh, terminal station. And uh, living near the DC area uh, when I was younger I was also inspired by the Metro. That they have there. Uh, it turned out to be a more complex snot design than the simple um, one that I had started with. But let me see if I can break it out and show you a little bit closer. So here I have removed it to get a closer look. That's where you slide your ticket in. And these things would fold in to let you enter. The basic design and the ways tiles here is based on that particular piece. I don't really know the element name for it but I have plenty of them and so I thought I would uh, use it in design here. It's great for a lot of snot work and uh, you can kind of see in there I do have a small black rod 
push through the center. That helps make the piece sturdy. Otherwise, this middle piece here uh, could easily break off. I didn't want that. So that little rod is there for extra support. All right. And I've also tried to use much of the original uh, train station uh, set. And uh, you, that's where you can see the stickers here. You can see the terminals have a very similar design. I just changed the colors a little bit uh, along with the city station there um, because I did take it apart. But I used a lot of the special elements found in that set and added them in here. Closer look. I don't want to waste any building space. I want everything to kind of look interesting. Um, so I've added the wires. You kind of see those during uh, in subways and metros and, and the like. I've added some underground pipe work here and made a little two exciting vignettes. Uh, one, you have a plumber here uh, working on a leak. And over here you have something still leaking out and he looks very concerned he's calling in for backup second thing uh, I decided to go this route is that it makes my entire train um, modular sectional so to speak so if I were to later on go to shows and want to show off my town in person um, it would make it a lot easier for me to put together, take it apart, and then reassemble it uh, elsewhere. And then lastly, uh, just the room. I need the room. Right here, this fits right underneath my street. Uh, makes it easier to build with the curves uh, of, the, of the train track. And then, you know, it gives me, again, additional space to display vignettes if I want. Um, and, you know, other sets, I mean, it doesn't have to relate to underground. I can do a whole Western scene here uh, with some of the sets that I, I have that I haven't built yet, just because I don't have the room to, to put them on a shelf somewhere. Um, so, or, or even right, you know, here. I mean, I, instead of having a, a subway, I can have a, another vignette. I can have a castle vignette um, underneath the city. So it doesn't really all have to be related to the city uh, in the underground area. I mean, so, and as you can see here, the street is held together by these jumpers here. I do need to make a pick a brick order. I ran shy of some white bricks here, white smooth bricks, but once I get those in, um, it'll be 100% complete. But I thought I was complete enough to show a video to you guys. So, here it is. I hope you uh, stay tuned and watch my city grow, uh, not just on the street level this time, but uh, also uh, below and um, thank you for watching as always and if you haven't yet please subscribe and like I'm also on Twitter uh, if you follow me on Instagram uh, you'll find that I do post photos as I am building things I have plenty of photos um, as I was building the subway station I'm also on Facebook now I created a Facebook page this old Lego brick um, I'll provide all the links below. Uh, so thank you very much. Uh, and until next time, happy building.